hi guys welcome back to my channel and a welcome to my channel if it's your first time and i do hope you will become a part of this family by clicking the red subscribe button down below today is thursday a new vlog just went up i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you haven't watched episode six of a rebirth or rebirth please go back to watch it you guys i know that um i experienced a, a bit of issues with it because i uploaded it and then i had to remove it and then when i re-uploaded i lost a couple of views i lost comments and i think it also messed up with my engagement um because i obviously uploaded or re-uploaded at a different time so if you haven't watched it please go back to catch up on that video and yeah um i hope you guys are good i just came out here to say hi and open this new vlog and to also give you guys an update um ruby's bedroom because last time i spoke about um us removing the wallpaper from the bedroom so the guys did come like the following day this is the same guy that did our tv stand and the same guy that i worked with to do our dining table before i sold it you guys remember that drama but um he basically does a lot of our carpentry work he also did our wall panels in the um, dining room and uh, yeah um i'm basically gonna be working with him again to do some work in lirua's bedroom as well like i want to add storage drawers under the um, um what's this under the un, under the bank beds um this is another way of optimizing on storage so we're gonna do that to add toys and shoes and winter clothes um so yeah i want to show you guys the room right now the wallpaper is out they removed it yesterday but i wasn't here and also i had mentioned that if the wallpaper is still in like a good condition then i'm going to give it to one of you guys but unfortunately <laughs> why are you laughing <laughs> but unfortunately you guys this guy i called this guy i'm like hey muza where, what do the guys do with the wallpaper i ask, ask is i see wallpaper <laughs> wallpaper can be reused once you remove it you can't reuse it so they threw it away so i'm so sorry guys for confusing you but the wallpaper is out and unfortunately can't be reused it was my mistake this is what the room looks like at the moment i am so happy it is so bright like much brighter and it also looks much more open um absolutely love that so yeah they did a very clean job it's very very clean they were meant to paint but because i hadn't bought paint and also when i came back home i was like oh did you guys paint did you get paint and paint the room and he was like no but you don't have paint so how could we have painted but i'm like the walls look like they were painted <laughs> i don't know what i thought and i thought guys they're gonna rip it off and my walls are gonna look i don't know dirty i don't know what i was thinking but it's actually quite a seamless process um they wet the wallpaper and then they just like they tear it but it doesn't come off with the paint so that's why it looks very neat but he is also adamant that i paint this bedroom because he's like no man just like repaint it and give it like a new fresh look but i'll see i'm not in a rush to paint it um so yeah guys this is what it is currently looking like it is back to being its original color so we're back to the um what's this not drawing board but it's like a blank canvas that we're gonna start working with again <laughs> but now i'm gonna take time i'm not gonna do anything at the moment we're gonna leave it as is and we'll just see as time i was thinking wall panels because i know it's a very safe option and it adds like dimension it adds um what's this it adds what's the word i'm looking for guys it adds character to the room yes so that's what i was thinking but i also don't want just like plain panels like the ones we have in our dining room though like i'm taking my time i'm just gonna take time 
but yeah guys um this is what the room looks like and the bedding that's what it looks like um but yeah i hope you guys are good i just came to say hi and open a new vlog i need to go and shoot content um i'm so lazy but it needs to be done so i'm gonna go do that and then we will see each other maybe later or tomorrow maybe tomorrow i need to go um fit my dress i am going to an event on sunday and i have a dress made um and the dress that i wore in the l'oreal event guys by the way it was made by beguile fashion that's the same guys that are making my dress for this event on sunday and i will be using them going forward for all my events so if you need um a custom made item if you're going to a wedding traditional wedding or white wedding or event like or you're just going anywhere and you need anything made please hit them up i will leave the con their contact details in the description box as well i'll put it on the screen and um in the description box so do hit them up i love their work you guys absolutely absolutely impeccable but i will see you guys tomorrow let me go shoot you guys before he comes back <laughs> from school um i'll see you guys tomorrow hey guys welcome to another day today is sunday and i am off to an event um it's uh it's not like my normal work event but it is a i don't want to call it a business seminar but something like similar um and it is by one of my neighbors that lives here so she invited me to come through and yeah there are going to be a lot of like business people and um speakers and all of that so i'm quite keen to go um to this event it's actually also part of like the women's month celebration or women's day celebration even though it's happening only now um but yeah i'm so excited it's here in midrand so i'm not driving too far i'm about 12 minutes away from my house i'm about to get going i love my dress <laughs> how dramatic does it look already like just look at this <laughs> I love it so much and it was made by beguile fashion house um, like i did tell you guys i fished it i went on friday to go fit and then they had to do some minor adjustments and then i went to get it this morning so yeah this is me <laughs> um but yeah i just want to say hi i'm gonna take you guys along with me to see what the day has in store it's nice and hot it's spring i'm wearing a spring color i am so excited let's get going guys we will catch up when we get to the venue <laughs> guys i just got here and luckily they haven't started i was worried that i was worried that i'm running late but they haven't yet started i think i'm hearing i'm hearing some music inside but i don't know what's that about but yeah we're here let's go inside <laughs> How are you? Can I sit anyway? Yes. Hi. How are you? Good and you? Good. You can sit anyway. Okay. Okay. And I have got a passion for bringing people together to bring about positive conversations. So I am here today and blessed to be in the capacity as a master of ceremony. I am at your service.
Okay. And with that, the you know, clarity of, of intent or purpose, how we communicate, how our actions are aligned to what we really want to achieve, and the reinforcing mechanisms that sort of goes with that. If we can get all of that, we can lead and have the joy again of leading. And, and the whole range of uh, things that you did uh, to show that you can achieve a lot more. But today I want to dwell on the purpose piece. And my favorite, con my favorite definition of purpose is one by Christine Willen, who defines purpose as using your strength to live in keeping with your values and positively impacting the lives of others. Using your strength to live in keeping with your values to, to positively impact the lives of others. Now, this requires about five things to be clear. The first one is we want to be clear on what our values are. How many of us can tell me their top five values? Of course, I help with equity numbers. <laughs> but the CV was there. So, so that's always very important. Okay? It's very important for me to say that, uh, that I want every channel. But when I became vice chancellor, I realized this is a big office. This office can take over your entire life. First of all, the letter of appointment indicates that you even have to move into the vice chancellor's house. It is mandatory. It's like you're getting into the presidential house. And what that means is that gardeners are hired for you, cleaners are hired for you, like there's a lot of things. You don't know where the kitchens come from, you don't buy them, they may ask you to choose, they may choose. There are rooms that are public with furniture that's public, that's been there forever. Mm -hmm. um, and then there are private rooms that will fit with your own furniture. But the, the house has got a public space and a private space. So I have a private kitchen, which is the one that we use at home, and a public one when we have people we are hosting and catering happens from there. And so there's a whole lot of challenges that come with, with this. Of course it's a nice right? So my view is that as a 21st century woman, if you get into a leadership position like that, you have to be intentional. In fact, it's going to be intentional all the time. I feel like this, 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 the camera. Okay, there we are so today is wednesday and tomorrow and thursday we are going on a little family getaway i'm so excited i'm looking forward to yeah i'm looking forward to the weekend um to just like taking a breather and taking things slow also please don't ask me to vlog because i feel like i don't want to but i am gonna take my camera i'll see maybe i'll change my mind once i'm there but yeah I'm not promising anything 
so anyways um i went to the mall yesterday and i went to cotton on to go do live rose shopping and i was so excited because they have like um summer spring spring summer beachwear type of clothes so that's what i got her which is going to be perfect for our cotton on content because we are actually going to the beach so it's going to be very exciting so this is what i got her i wanted to do a little haul and show you guys what i got for her and me because i did go to and i'm so excited you guys you guys are going to be so excited as well to see what i got from legit as well but yeah first let's do Le Rouge haul so i got her these jelly um shoe sandals i think these are called jelly shoes if i'm not mistaken but yeah that's what i got her and then i got her this cute summer hat the straw hat and this was unfortunately i don't have the price for the shoes this was 2.99 and then i got her a bikini super super cute this is what it looks like as well as the top also one thing that is a scam you guys are bikini sets being sold separately or being charged separately okay luckily this one buy a charger is a set and it was 2.99 but you know how you buy bikini and then they charge you for like the top and the bottom separately that is the biggest scam honestly like you wear this thing as a one piece but they charge it separately how why yeah and you make it make sense and then for 350 we got this beach bag um yeah we got this beach bag for her very cute we're just gonna put her things and her toys if we do decide to take her beach toys are they called beach toys yeah but if we do decide to take them then that's what we will put inside of a bag when we go to the beach and then um this set this set is yeah this set is charged separately so this is a top like a crop toppy sleeveless sleeveless shirt and it was 229 and it does have matching pants these are the pants and these were um, uh, 229 as well so this is super cute so this is how she's gonna wear this so she's going to wear these pants she's actually gonna wear her bikini and then um wear the the pants over the the bottom and then that's how i'm gonna style for the for content um and then i also got her this dress perfect for like a vacation at the beach and this dress was 3.99 so this is what it looks like and with this dress i got these shades super cute they match the dress the blue and lastly i got her another what do you call this one one piece yeah one piece swimwear situation thingy i got her that as well so very excited she doesn't know yet that we are traveling um we went to pick and pay clothing and she wanted this pony thing and it was 150 honestly which i felt like what <laughs> for just that thing but 150 rand but anyway i got it for her because we are going away i don't think we are gonna use it or she's gonna use it because of her hairstyle but yeah i bought it for her um and also i did want to take her to the salon today to do her hair but i don't think i'm gonna have time so i just decided you know what we'll just go with her hair like that most of the time she's going to be in a hat anyway so i think that's fine i will do her hair when we come back from the trip so yeah anyways guys after that i went to legit to see if i can find some cute dresses for myself for this trip and guys when i got to the shoe section <laughs> i nearly lost it i nearly lost it because what do you mean 
what do you mean so legit said zara lereweza lang zara i got you girls i got you if you guys know this she will know that zara is selling it um and i initially wanted to buy this dress for the uh, not this dress these shoes for the event i went to in the previous clip when i was um we wearing the purple dress i wanted to wear that dress with these shoes but i didn't get the chance to go shopping and like i looked in my closet and remembered that i have white shoes that i can wear with that dress but yesterday when i was at legit i'm like what do you mean guys it's the exact same shoe <laughs> it is the exact same shoe and it is comfortable guys how stunning it's so gorgeous it is absolutely gorgeous the quality looks amazing and i love that it's not um it's not a white like a pure white it is off-white i absolutely love this shoe and you know how much it was guys do you want to know how much it was it was 289 i mean 279 and gozara i'll find out how much it is gozara and i'll put a price over here but i'm sure it's like somewhere in the thousand and i bought this in fact i almost bought five pairs <laughs> but not of the same shoe yo guys i don't even know where to start so anyways it's that pair which i am obsessed obsessed with so you guys better run because they are selling out and then i got these cute black oh guys this cute black mid stiletto oh i love these shoes so much they have this bow situation happening here and you know what when i saw these i'm like i don't know where and when i'm going to wear this but i know that there is going, going to be an occasion where i am going to wear this so i am definitely going to buy them guys how cute they are just so stunning and all of them are just so super comfortable i absolutely love them these are also 280 and this girl also said that yo these shoes in fact she said they received stock on tuesday and on wednesday i went to the mall on wednesday and she's like yo you know we got stock of these shoes on you know we received stock on tuesday and these shoes are almost selling out um and she she told me that she even has a pay so run guys run run <laughs> and then lastly i bought this pair this brown pair this is low stiletto hello stiletto i don't know what that means but anyways yeah lastly this is the pair i got this brown pair and this one sort of has a belt that covers your ankle like that and i really love this color i don't have shoes in this brown color but it's just a beautiful beautiful color as well i'm so excited to wear these these were 260 and yeah i'm super excited you guys like <laughs> these are 259.99 there we go absolutely absolutely gorgeous i even want to post this white pair on instagram to show people worry legit said what what don't play with my girls to that other shop but don't play with my girls okay and then at legit i also bought this dress it was 2.99 um when i fitted this dress i was very impressed it's like orange and it's a magazine dress i was very impressed with this dress because it is it is not see-through it's not a light material the material is quite heavy and yeah it's just like good quality material honestly guys i absolutely love it i wish i could i could show it to you guys like properly but yeah if you're interested just go check it out this is what it looks like up here i see um and then i also bought this maxi skirt for 150 it was actually a set but i didn't take the top it's just a plain green skirt and it was 149.99 so 150 and it has a slit but right at the bottom i didn't fit this one but i'm really hoping that 
it works it doesn't look like it's see-through as well so yeah i hope that it will work and then lastly i just bought a two-piece set which i'm planning to wear tomorrow when we travel or when we leave so this is going to be my airport fit i just want to feel comfortable keep poorly failure you know but also be beach ready so it's just this um shirt this is what it looks like up close it's black and white and it has matching shorts it's matching shorts like that yeah that is basically it you guys so what i'm gonna do now is um go and start packing at least i know in total Rui, they are almost ready because most of it is here in this cotton on bag i'm just gonna add a few other outfits because you know with kids you need to always take extra extra and then just add like a few warm tops like the jersey a jacket one jacket nyana and just yeah extra changing outfits and then i should be done with her bag and then i'm just gonna pack them inside her bag with mine i also did take out my clothes i didn't buy a lot of like um how can i put it like vacation outfits because yeah i just felt like there was no need this trip is mainly for Rui, so why don't we just like supporting actors on this trip to be honest so um yeah i, I just found it unnecessary for me to buy clothes um although i did buy dresses but i didn't buy them mainly for the trip i just bought them because it's the season clothes i'll be wearing are from the trip i went on with my husband in mauritius so yeah it's fine and then yeah i think that's that's about it you guys the other thing that i wanted to say is literally like a few minutes ago my husband was sitting here and we were just talking about how like our kids are blessed that in the future when they're big they'll be having conversations with their friends about the fact that like um they used to travel to like kzn on a family vacation to the beach you know every year type of thing and how we didn't have that growing up and it was just like something so special to really talk about like how we had a different childhood to what we are giving our child and we are super grateful that we are able to do to do that for her because now i only went to i only went to durban when i was in my honors year yes when i was in my honors year and letting i was uh, my husband paid for that trip because he had started working and it was like a group trip with his friends and so he paid for me to be on that trip so that was my first time ever on a plane this was 2012 yes 2012 first time ever on a plane first time ever at the beach and imagine you guys so it's just crazy how like generation to generation things are just so different and um like i'm super super grateful we are super grateful that we can do this for our child and that's definitely one of our goals as parents to obviously give her most of the experiences that we didn't get when we were growing up so yeah man we're so excited we didn't tell her that this is happening but she's been saying that she like um wants to swim because it's getting warmer now she has this swimming pool that you blow up and put water in and she's been saying that because it's getting hot like she wants to swim and so yesterday i think it was yesterday or this morning no this morning actually she said uh, while we're getting ready for school she's like mommy can i please swim on the, on friday it's getting hot i'm like on friday no don't worry girl you are gonna swim it's like really mommy yay i'm so excited it's gonna be the best day ever i'm like you have no idea it is gonna be the best day ever um so she's gonna be super excited to find out that we are um, traveling we didn't tell her because eh, yo mugale she she'll tell the whole world she tells everybody so we're just like i shall find out on the day so tomorrow morning when we wake up we'll be like Rui pack your bags we're going to the beach <laughs> so yeah anyways guys um let me go upstairs and start packing because yeah I just want everything to be when you're traveling with a child you need to always be on top of your game so I want to do it as early as possible but I'm so happy because it's warm so I don't need a lot of like heavy clothes gonna be nice and light but yeah i'll catch up with you guys later if not then i think after packing i'm gonna close up the vlog and then 
we'll see each other in the next one i guess but let's see yeah let's just see how it goes you guys can tell how tired i am my eyes are a little bit red but anyways i've just finished packing and oh i'm so excited right now i just finished packing the only thing that's left kitty toiletries which i'll do in the morning i've just taken out the toiletry the toiletry bags and prepared them but then i'll fill everything properly in the morning at least our flight is not super super early so we will have a little bit of the morning to still prepare um but yeah i think that is about it you guys i am gonna end this vlog here i'm so excited <laughs> i'm so excited so we decided we're gonna tell rui later this evening so that she can pack like things that she'd want to take with because sometimes she wants to take like if you're going somewhere she'd want to take a few of her toys and teddies and dolls so we're gonna have to tell her this evening so that she can pack whatever it is that she wants to pack but anyways guys um i'm gonna close off this vlog i hope you enjoyed it i know it was not a long vlog but i really do hope you enjoyed it if you did please give me a super thanks and um yeah like this video big thumbs up for this video comment down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed 
I'll see you guys. My mirror, you, you got it. That's why it was there. There's a little bit of wind, so my mirror keeps moving, but it should be stable. <laughs> I hope. But anyways, guys, let me um get dinner prepared. I'm just gonna make something very quick and easy. I'm sure you guys know that this is <laughs> what I always say during the week when I need to go and cook. I always say I'm gonna make something quick and easy. But I um I just um I bought this hake from Woolly, so I'm gonna pop it in the air fryer, and we'll probably have it with chips and a salad um so yeah that's gonna be for dinner and then we sleep and tomorrow we fly ma yasamaya tell one in my next one bye guys i ain't coming don't wait up